Mac Method Gang. We're going to be talking about how to conquer the winter arc. It hasn't started yet. It's starting in a couple days, starting in about a week. Listen, guys, it's time. October 1st is the first day of the winter arc. This is where it always starts. The winter, sad, cold, depressing time, hoodie season, jacket season, hey, loneliness, you know what I'm saying? We're going to conquer the winter arc now. Here's the thing. You can either mess this up like you do every single year, like you did last year, the year before that, the year before that, the year before that. I can keep going on, so on and so forth, you know what I'm saying? But this is how you conquer it, step by step. Number one, vision. You need a vision, okay? What is your goal? What are your goals? What do you even want to do, bro? What is your goals? So let's get that first. Vision. Whatever your goals are, you need to write it down. Don't think it. Don't you listen. Write it down on a whiteboard, on a damn planner, something where you can visually see it every day. I have like three whiteboards everywhere. I have so many. I have a whiteboard right here, bro. I have a whiteboard here, whiteboard over there, a whiteboard right. Here. Man, I have so many whiteboards. It's not even funny. Anyways, you need a vision. You need to write it down. Write it down so you can see it every day you wake up, you see your goals, right? So let's say, what, so what would your goals be? It's winter season. I'm assuming if you watch this channel, fitness on your grind, you know what I mean? So your vision is to get ripped. We want to be ripped, bro. Ripped. I hope I spelled it right. You want to be ripped, okay? We want to get jacked. You know what I'm saying? Come on, stop playing. You want to get ripped. So that's one of your goals. Whether you're fat as hell, whether you're skinny as a twig, you want to put on size or you want to lose weight. You know what I mean? So now that you have that goal, okay, what is your goal though? Do you want to lose 20 pounds? Do you want to lose 15 pounds? Do you want to gain 10 pounds, 5 pounds? Whatever it is, you want to write that down. So I want to gain 10 pounds of muscle. Let's say I want to gain 25 pounds of muscle, right? I'm skinny as hell. I want to gain 25 pounds of muscle. What you should do is watch my damn video that literally is titled How I Gained 25 Pounds of Muscle, Got an Unbreakable Mindset, and Upgraded My Appearance. I literally have a video showing you how to do this. Anyways, I'm just saying. And link in the bio, one-on-one -on -one coaching. I'll get you right. How to plug myself. Listen, so we want to get ripped, right? Obviously. Another vision. I want to... I don't know, start my business or maybe you don't even want to do business. Maybe I just want to get a promotion at my job. So let's just do promotion. Okay. So we have getting rid of promotion. And honestly, what all y'all should be doing is getting more in your faith. In your faith. Listen, y'all, I'm Catholic. You know what I'm saying? I follow Jesus. Hopefully y'all do too. But if you don't, hey. Can't judge, you know what I mean? But that's just my thing. But I just wrote three examples down, right? So the vision is to get ripped, get a promotion at your job, and your uh, you know, get better in your faith. Just there's many things you can write down. I just wrote down these three things, all right? So you need to figure out exactly what you're gonna do for each thing. So for example, to get ripped, how are we gonna get ripped? Well, one, I need to buy a gym membership. You don't even need a gym membership, to be honest, but look at a gym membership, you know what I mean? I got to fix my diet. I got to find out workout routine. I got to find a diet plan. I <clears throat> just joined the program. Um, all this stuff, YouTube videos, there's a million videos. I don't even have to go over this, you know what I mean? So figure out all you got to do to get ripped. If you got to lose weight, lose weight. If you got to gain weight, gain weight. Now, promotion at my job. So you got to write down, what do I got to do to get promoted at my job? Um, for me, I know exactly what I have to do to get promoted at my job. I gotta be better on time management. You know what I mean? I gotta be better on mostly that's main my main thing is be better on time management. So I know if I upgrade my time, I increase my conversation with clients and do all this uh XYZ, all these things, I'm going to in time be able to ask for a promotion. They're gonna I have the data to back it up, I'm gonna get a promotion. But you gotta write down exactly what you gotta do, whatever job you got, whatever you're doing. Write down what you need to do. You got to write down what you need to do, bro. You need to. And then in your faith, I just said I'm Catholic. Obviously, praise the most high, Jesus Christ. Whatever you follow, whatever you do, you want to get more in your faith. Well, you need to read the Bible or whatever you read. You know what I mean? You need to go to church every Sunday. You need to actually read scriptures. You need to actually enlighten yourself and read about the religion or what you follow, what you do. How are you going to do that? Well, 15 minutes every day I wake up, I pray. 
I try to read one um verse of you know a book like right now I'm reading the book of John. I try to read one verse and at least try to um think about what I read, highlight, you know what I mean, and write down what I think about it. That's one way I can get better at doing it because I wasn't doing that before. Now I'm doing it. I'm getting better in it. You see what I'm saying? I'm taking the steps to get better at what I'm doing. So that's the first thing is you need a vision. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this because you get the point by now. Man, this mixer sucks, bro. You need a vision. Two, you need a system. You need a system. Now, I basically touched on that by saying exactly what you need to do. But the thing with the system is once you have the vision, you wrote down how you're going to get there. That's basically the system, right? So I need to go to the gym. I need to do this. I need to do that. I need a time management for my job. I need to read the Bible verses, whatever. That's basically the system, right? So now that you have the system, you need to not forget about the goal or the vision, but you really need to just fall in love with the system. The system is what you need to do to actually get to that goal. Because the time, the thing with us is me, you, everybody, we fall in love with the goal and the and the the end point, which is like, I'm just gonna say random things here. Oh, I want to be rich, or oh, I wanna I want a Lambo, and I want a car, and I want to get, I just want to be ripped, right? That's cool. We all want that things, but you can't fall in love with that goal. You gotta fall in love with whatever it takes to get to that goal. So the system is whatever it takes, right? So. Like I said, whatever we just talked about is the system. So fall in love with that, not the goal. Because once you fall in love with the system, the system never stops. Because the thing is with getting ripped is, or getting that car or getting whatever, once you get it, you you basically got what you wanted. So you're kind of, you're kind of gonna, you're gonna be like, I already got it. So you're, you might fall off. At that point, you probably won't. But for some people, they'll probably fall off because they got what they wanted. It, it's all good now, right? But if you focus on the system, which is the steps you took to actually get to that goal, you'll never fall off because the systems never end. The system always keeps going because you can always get more junk. You can always get more cars. You can always get more of this, more of that. Now, you got to be careful with that because you don't want to always feel like you don't have enough, right? It's a good feeling for on the grind, but you got to remember to stay humble, stay down to earth and, and understand that. You can't let this uh, get you big headed and, and just, you know what I mean? So hungry for like more and, and all this stuff. It's I'm not saying don't grind. Obviously, the point is this is to grind, but you get what I mean. You can't let it consume you to where now it's affecting all your your stuff. You know what I mean? It corrupts you, basically, is what I'm saying. That's why you got to be deep in your faith, because with the faith, you'll be grounded. You know what I mean? The homie Jesus is going to help you all out. Anyways, that's the system, right? So keep using this horrible thing. Number three is you need to be, I'm going to put, how do I explain this? I don't want to say, I, actually, I'm going to say isolation. You need to be in isolation solitude. Now, this doesn't mean literally be isolated from the planet or from the world and you're just cooped up in your room in a cave, like a dungeon dweller, you know what I mean? No. What I mean by being isolation and in solitude is you need to be content with yourself. You need to be happy with who you are. And you're going to be happy once you start doing the systems, when you start doing the routine, when you start doing the goals, you're going to start feeling accomplished. You're going to be more confident because you're actually proving yourself that you can do things, right? You're actually conquering things. And that is going to reinforce that belief in yourself, right? So anyways, by being isolation, by being in isolation and solitude, it's more so like I just explained is being happy and content with yourself in isolation, in solitude. You don't always need to be around noise. You don't always need to be around people. You don't always need to be around a party or something. You got to understand that when it comes to the winter arc, bro, and you're just grinding, for the most part, you're going to be alone. You're going to be alone. The reason why you're going to be alone is because while you're doing this, other people, your friends, your boys, you know what I mean? whatever your relationships you got your girl whoever family members they're not going to be on the same tip they might actually be on the same tip as you which would be good because it's kind of like y'all are working together but if not which most in cases it's probably they're not going to be on that same thing which is fine you're going to be alone because nobody's doing the same thing you're doing your friends are doing something else your family members doing something else you know what i mean they're not on the same page so you got to be able to live 
in isolation and be in solitude and understand that you're on a different you're on a different tip right now, bro. You gotta understand that you gotta change. Doing the same thing is gonna get you the same results. The definition of insanity. So we gotta change it up. This is how you change it up. You've never done this before because you're so cooped up being up with people and trying to party and trying to do this. No, bro. Like you gotta grind. You gotta grind, bro. And you're gonna end up a lot of the times you're gonna be alone because not everyone, most people are not doing this. So that's three. You know what I mean? Four, you're gonna put you need to see you need to be unchained. Be unchained now. This one is major. This is my term that I literally created. It's called being unchained. If you follow me on Instagram, if you follow me on IG, even on YouTube, bro, I always talk about being unchained, unchained mindset. What does that even mean? What does being unchained mean? Now, this is a perfect video to break this down. Actually, I broke it down. I already said this video, but if you watch my how to gain 25 pounds of muscle, um, unbreakable mindset, which is basically unchained mindset, and create your appearance, you'll understand what being unchained means. But I'm going to just basically sum it up real fast. So what does it mean to be unchained? Well, unchained being, it means being unchained from your self, self limiting beliefs, your self limiting beliefs, right? So this is the thing. We're all chained to our self limiting beliefs. I was chained to my self limiting belief still is I'm still breaking free. 99% of the society everyone on the planet is chained to their is their self-limiting beliefs we always feel like oh we can't do this oh i can't do that only he can do that oh only he can get that car only he can i say material things because it's easy to just say material things only he can get that house only he can get this job whatever whatever it is that's self-limiting beliefs because you believe you can't get that why can't you get that he got it you can get it not everyone was born rich bro people now in 2024 they are getting rich when they're broke you see it all the time it's not like old money and they were just born no bro you see 19 year olds 19 year olds 20 year olds 30 year olds which is still young as hell 40 year olds is still young bro riding pulling up in lambos pulling up in ferraris pulling up in a damn mclaren they weren't born for money bro yeah some of them are of course but you see it now ever so quick people say oh well the comments oh well they run today maybe they did but it still costs mad money to rent that shit. <laughs> Yo, you know, they would have to be renting that every day for months on end. You know how much money they're spending to rent that every single fucking day, bro? It's a lot of money. Some of them, they act, some of them, yeah, they probably rent it. But, bro, the point is, you see it all the time. Matter of fact, I went to the gym today and I saw a freaking Ferrari, a blacked out Ferrari in the parking lot right there. And I was like, damn, I want that. I want to be pulling up in a damn Ferrari. That's what I want to be pulling up in. And I'm going to be pulling up in that. You'll see. Anyways, being unchained from your self-limiting beliefs. You know what I mean? Unshackle yourself. You got to break free, bro. All the self-limiting. And this applies to everything. When it comes to being in shape. When it comes to your faith. When it comes to your relationships. When it comes to your health. When it comes to your wealth. When it comes to your job, business. Whatever it is, bro. You got to break free from the chains you put on yourself. This is why you're stuck. This is why you keep fucking up. This is why you keep not doing what you say you're going to do. Because you you are chained, bro. You're chained. Be unchained. Be unchained. Build the mindset up. Set the routine. Set the system. This All this is in tandem. Everything I just said works in tandem to get to this point. Because once you have the vision, then you have the steps. Follow the system. You're in isolation, solitude. You're content with yourself. You're building up confidence as you're doing that. You're going to become unchained. Because... You're breaking free. You're realizing, oh, wait, I can do this. Oh, wait, I can stick to routine. Oh, wait, I can get my body in shape. Oh, wait, I can get this promotion at this job. I can talk to this girl. I can get more friends. I can make more money. I can be happy with who I am. You're going to become unchained. That's the whole point of being unchained, bro. Anyways, enough of that. This is the main thing, to be honest, is to be unchained. So now that winter arc is basically starting in about... A week from less than a week from this video the last thing i would say is and this is really the make or break from everything because all this is cool but oh my god i keep not using this all this is cool but 
This is this is major. This is honestly the biggest thing here. I'm gonna just write it huge, bro. Damn, I don't even have space. That's a Y at the end. Anyways, you can barely see that. That says consistency. This is a major thing from I have problems with this, you have problems with this, everybody has problems with this, bro. Except for the real killers. And I'm trying to be a real killer out here, man. We all want to be real killers out here. But the thing is, you need to be... I'm going to rewrite this because you can barely see this. You need to be consistent. Consistent, bro. Hopefully, you can see that better. You need to be consistent, man. Because this is all cool. You can have the vision. You can have the goal. You can have the system. You can have the whatever. You can have the this and that. But if you're not consistent, nothing's going to work. It's all going to fail. You can try to get ripped. You can have the plan. You can be on my plan. You can be on someone else's plan. You can be on no plan. You can be on free YouTube, whatever you want to do, bro. And it's cool. But if you only do it for a week and then you stop for two months, then you go back for another week and then stop again for two months, then you're not going to get ripped. You know what I mean? You're going to stay fat or you're going to stay skinny and you're not going to get the results you want. It's as simple as that because you're not consistent. That's the common thing with all this is if you're not consistent, none of this works. Same thing with the promo. You might be grinding at your job for a week. You know what I mean? Everything's going cool. Then you stop again for two weeks. Then you go back again for a couple of days. Then you stop for two months. And it's not going to work. They're going to tell them, hey, I want a promo. They're like, hey, but, but where though? Where's the data? Like, yeah, you were doing cool, but it's not consistent, bro. They're going to be like, get the fuck out of here. Same with the business. If you're trying to grow a business, me... I'm a major example for this. Me. I'm thinking I want to grow this. I want to do that. I want to help these people. I want to help all this. And I have clients that I'm working with. But how can I get more clients if I'm not posting consistently? If I'm not giving game, if I'm not giving free sauce, if I'm not over delivering, if I'm not doing all this to, on a consistent basis, I can't. I can't. How am I going to be pulling up in a damn Ferrari if I'm not consistent? You can't, bro. You cannot be. You can't achieve anything if you're not consistent. I'm going to be. I'm going to keep it real. Same thing with everything, bro. Everything is based on consistency. You got to be consistent, bro. So those are the major things you need to do to dominate this winter arc. Whatever you're trying to do, man. Not everyone wants to have a business. Not everyone wants to. Everyone should be wanting to get ripped and jacked, to be honest. I'm going to just, I'm going to keep it real. But maybe that's not your goal. You just want to get in shape. You should be at least trying to get in shape and be healthy. You know what I mean? If you're fat, bro, you already know. Cut. You got to lose that right now. If you're skinny as hell, come on. Let's go, man. Pick up the pace, bro. This is, you got to do this. But anyways, everyone has different goals. Everyone has different things. But the major thing is having the vision, writing it down so you can see every day, getting the routine, the system, going, following the system. Yeah, the goal is cool. The vision is cool. But you need to fall in love with the system. Fall in love with what's going to get you to that damn goal. Not the goal itself. With what's going to get you to get that goal. Then once you do that, unchained mindset, you start getting confidence. You start building up that, you know what I mean? All that stuff. Once you start doing that, all of this is going to play in tandem. You're consistent. You're going to you're gonna dominate the winter arc. You're going to come back. And it's just going to be next level shit, bro. Next level stuff, bro. You know what I mean? So anyways, that's what you need to do to dominate this year's winter arc. October 1st, we're starting, bro. I know I'm dominating it. Are you coming with me, man? Or are you just going to watch this and not do anything about it? Stop playing. Is that was the perfect time to freaking join my thing, bro. My one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you're dead ass serious and you're trying to get in shape, bro, you're trying to upgrade your looks, you're trying to just have that unchained mindset, bro, now is a perfect chance to start October 1st, bro. October 1st, imagine just locking in for four months. Four months, bro. And coming back, like, hey, if you want to join, book a call. Serious people only. Anyways, if you don't want to join, that's cool too. Doesn't matter to me. Um... That's it for the video, though. I'll see you on the next one.